Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spirit, progression pack recipes are complicated, and welcome to Mod Spotlight Super Shorts. We've all had to face them, big, complicated recipes with lots of material. The worst part is when you think you have all you need, but it turns out you're missing a bunch of items you need to process. Let's face it, human calculations are fickle. Just Enough Calculations, however, provides a solution with the Crafting Calculator. The Crafting Calculator strings recipes together and tells you useful details about your plan, like the materials you need and the procedure to finish. Shift right clicking it changes it to a math calculator, just in case you have any special calculations you need to do. It works just like a normal calculator, but entirely in-game. The Crafting Calculator, however, is arguably the more important part. The interface you get when you open it up is where all your required ingredients will appear. But first, we need to add a recipe. Default up in the top left corner means that this recipe will be placed in the default group. You can click New Group to create a new recipe group. In this case, I see two. Then press Confirm. Use the arrows to switch between groups. The basic way to add a recipe is to find the outputs, the inputs, and the catalyst and click on them. Click on Output, and click on the basic machine casing. Click on Input, and then click on an iron plate. You can left click or use the scroll wheel to increase the amount. And you can right click to decrease. Catalysts are the machines used to create a recipe. Click on Catalyst, and click on a crafting table. Then press save to save the recipe. There's a simpler way to add recipes though. While you're in the GUI, you can press R for the recipe of an item just like you would normally. And then press the plus button. This is the OR dictionary screen. The mod will accept only one ore dictionary entry for an item. If I pick oak plants now, it will not accept spruce planks as a substitute later on. This can be changed, but I'll show you that later. Here you can choose a catalyst, which will also be remembered as an ore dictionary entry of sorts. I'll make another group. Press save to save the recipe. From the record screen, you can look at all recorded crafted recipes. Switch groups with these buttons. You can delete and edit recipes this way. You may have noticed that earlier I made a mistake in the machine casing recipe. I can go to records and edit it, but what if records was full of items and I couldn't find it? That's where the search function comes in. Pick a group, pick an item, and choose whether you want to find all recipes with the item or recipes where it's an input, output, or catalyst. Then you can edit or delete as normal. I'll add another iron plate with the left mouse and click save. Now that we have recipes, let's see how to use them. Go back to the main screen using the Escape button, and pick an item from JEI or the Recent list. The planks you need appear in the inventory, and Missing at the bottom right indicates that you don't have these items in your inventory. Procedure details crafting steps. Extra Output tells you if you'll get any extra items you didn't ask for. Overall Cost tells you all the materials you'll need that don't have a crafting recipe recorded, even if they're already in your inventory. Catalyst tells you what machines you'll need. Up in the black box up top, you can indicate how many of the item you want, and the inventory will change to reflect your changes. You can press R on any of the items in the inventory to add their recipe. And when you press save, you'll return to the main screen with your changes applied. Notice, Procedure now has another step. Now what if you want to set up a crafting plan for multiple items? You'll need to search for the label. Click it, type in a name, and press Create. Add the items you want to the input. I'll add an IC2 generator and a bat box. No need for a catalyst. Save. Click the label item when you're in the main GUI. Optionally search for your label, and click. Then you can start adding recipes. The crafting calculator dynamically supports other types of recipes, but only after the second time you launch the mod pack and a world with the mod installed. So, we can go over to the metal former and make a recipe. Notice the metal former and the catalyst? Oops, I placed these recipes in vanilla, but I can change that by editing the recipe and switching the group. If, for some reason, you want to make two recipes for the same item, like the iron plate, for example, you can change the recipe in the edit screen, by, for example, pressing R and picking a new recipe, and then pressing Duplicate. However, you can't choose between these recipes in the main GUI. Here, you may notice we encounter a problem. It's asking for eight forge hammers, but you only need one. To fix this, we'll edit and put the forge hammer in Catalyst. 
Now it's not included as one of the ingredients you need. Though it is in Catalyst. Remember how I said you can change or dictionary defaults? Click or dict to see the defaults, and click an item to delete it. The next time you make a recipe using a dictionary entry for the item you deleted, it'll ask you for a default. For example, I'll craft the bat box, and it's asking me for a catalyst. I'll pick the crafting table, of course. If you want to remove a group, all you have to do is delete everything inside it. Next, I'll show you how to use the fluid system. Say you want the recipe for the cobalt pickaxe head, which requires liquid. Click the plus button, pick a catalyst, We'll take out the pickaxe head cast from the inputs and put it in the catalyst. I'll remove these fluid entries since they're obviously wrong. And to add a fluid to a recipe, we'll click the I button in one of the inputs to switch to fluids and open this GUI. I'll search for cobalt. Then I'll click it and say 288 millibuckets. Then press confirm. Last, I'll show you how to use the percent system. We'll make a new group, enter IO, and we'll add silicon to the output and sand to the input, and sagmill to the catalysts. Click the hash up at the output to change to percentage, and give it, say, a 50% chance. You can scroll down to make this faster. Now press save, and we'll add silicon to the main GUI. Notice it asks for two sand instead of one. And that's it for this Mod Spotlight. I'm using a new recording software, hopefully to eliminate the pops from my last video. If you have any feedback, as always, I'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed!